Writing about Monica Nador and Bruno O oh is not possible without considering their backgrounds. Nador was born into an upper middle class family in the city of Ribeiro Preto. Her interest in art was already present in her youth, awakened by her father, a medical doctor and amateur painter. After graduating in art, Nador set about producing works for gallery created sales exhibitions. An established and well settled artist, she found herself losing faith in and enthusiasm for the art scene. She then pursued further studies leading to an MFA. During the conversation we had before writing this essay, Nador told me that her research at that point led her to a deeper understanding of the class structure in Brazil. She acknowledged the fact that at that time, the art world was in no way democratically accessible to the less privileged. Nador decided to move to Jardim Miriam in 2004, where she set up a community-based project. The residents of this district, known as the ABCD, one of the largest industrial areas in the country, formed strong movements against labor exploitation to improve workers' rights and social equality. In that same year, she established the organization Jamak, Jardim Miriam Art Club. The space offers stencil, silkscreen, and audiovisual workshops and fosters cultural activities at the intersection between art and practices for democratic citizenship. Shambak's main objective is to build training processes that stimulate encounters between art and life, aesthetics, and politics. The space hosts activities such as workshops, exhibitions, roundtable discussions, and open access classes, always focusing on diversity, inclusion, and the right to access city spaces and memory. Bruno O, oh, an educator and visual artist, first met Nador through a project at Jardim Miriam. He's a PhD research fellow in visual arts at UFMG, Federal University of Manas Gerais, working on the project performing the institution, power grammars, insurgent aesthetics and devices of counter hegemony in Latin American art. A community worker, he's the coordinator at Casa Um, a welcoming space for LGBT youth expelled from their homes due to non-acceptance of their sexuality. Bruno O also works at Jamak under Nador's leadership. Azo is a divided city. The calm waters of the Arcus River tell the history of the city's industrialization and urbanization in the 19th and 20th centuries. Two apparently antagonistic urban spaces emerge from this process. The wealthy and mostly white west side and the more socioeconomically challenged eastern and southern districts where people of color, migrants, and a multicultural population is concentrated. According to the Brazilian philosopher Sueli Carneiro, skin color structures class in Brazil. This reality, very much present in Jardim Miriam, may also affect the prosperous Norwegian capital to a greater extent than the white majority likes to admit.